Oh, why hello there, hello. chat. How I'm are you? Kraken Quake ASMR. I'm your dungeon master, Sam. And with me, as always, are my lovely non-sexualized players. My preview's messing up right now, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, this good even sounds good. We're I don't know. Going with it. ASMR videos just have a bunch of random sounds, right? That's why I'm just making sounds in place. Yeah, that works. Uh, so, with me as always, I guess we'll go uh, left to right this time. We have Chris playing Tegan Black Hollow. Hi, welcome. A hunter of monsters who is edgy and dark and grim and a cowboy. And... I'm the edgiest. Well, I, we don't really have any proof of you being a monster hunter. How many monsters have you even killed? A few werewolves. That he he's said, actually, allegedly. Actually, not doing good, very good. You're already sparing one. <laughs> yeah, this campaign is 0-1 for dead. Er, <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next character. <laughs> we have Philip playing Roth. Wolf dad. Yeah, Roth. best dad. Mm, arguable. No. Creator of conflict, but also a solver of conflict with axe. Yep. He I don't now know. has an axe. <laughs> I didn't do it. We're getting more props by the episode here. I knew why. <laughs> you didn't see shit. Oh, wait, I think I have one. I have a good habit. I've got the Wind Waker. You want it? I can get you it. That's kind of close. Oh. We need you a big book. Oh, that, that is I... more. Acts of... Is this an Axe of Phasing? Guys, did you give me an wait, Axe of I've Phasing? I've got McGonagall's wand me? upstairs. I think I have a wand in my phone. Okay. Yay. So as we do this, we also have Avani, <laughs> the. Uh, well, Avani is a wonderful person, but she's playing Ceres, the devious wizard. I'm not a wizard. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. She's a drow. It's I know magic. Right there. I know magic, but that that doesn't make me a wizard. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> she's also very obsessed with demon arms now. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the rage. Wait. I can get you the arm, but I'm keeping the hand. You specifically are trying to tutor someone in being a wizard. How are you not a wizard? We all know you're a wizard. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> you're a wizard, Avani. <laughs> <laughs> and James, playing Flynnmo Goodhart, the... I'm running out of adjectives for frustrated, or synonyms for frustrated. Uh, I think we already <laughs> used put upon, right? Yeah, I've done put upon, I've done frustrated, I've done... Happy. Aggravated. Oh, aggravated. The aggravated sorcerer. My friends are murderers! <laughs> I haven't murdered anyone. That's I love how that's more and more becoming Flynnmo's catchphrase. <laughs> He's got I cast guidance on myself and my friends are murderers. Why not me? Okay. <laughs> I didn't that was never mind. explicitly stated. <laughs> I mean technically it's never been brought Thanks up at all. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring down I just, wand. just assume. Oh yeah, no, he... orcs killed her. I oh, wish okay. I had yeah. my wand from home. She well like technically she okay. killed them. Alright guys. That's all bring it in for another time. Bring it in. Simmer down. Bring uh, it other words of and... shut the fuck up. Uh, so, when last session we played, that sentence made no sense. But also, you guys did some Invor investigating to find the bones of St. Andrew, which have gone missing here in Velaki, as right. Father uh, Lucian Petrovich has asked you to do so. One of the best inter investigators. And yeah. interrogators. Oh, well, I'm the best interrogator. Um... I'm pretty sure a private investigator would have actually done more to solve the case than you guys have at this point. Clear the hole. Don't clear the hole. Stop it. You don't have consent. Hey. Uh, so you guys went around, questioned people, watched an execution, snuck around a house, and let a guy out of the mansion. Uh, oh, yeah. I did. That's the other reason we're going to get in trouble. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I don't think we told you guys about that even. He went to the church. <laughs> Y'all didn't. Uh, yeah. And... Oh, God, what else happened? Uh, Roth Both heads of state. knocked a noble's jaw off, or at least loose. Uh, I get results. <laughs> I don't remember any result other than, like, whining and crying. And so we pick up back with you guys standing outside a dark alley at the, near the end of night one of your investigation. Dun, dun. It's only been one night. Jeez. Yeah. It's, it's still a, day one. It's been a long day. <laughs> Felt, it feels like three <laughs> weeks. Fuck you. <laughs> so what now? Well, I think we go talk to the person nice. who told us that these two were suspicious in the first place. 
Yeah, I second that. Who was that? I don't remember. It was the, the child, child we were talking to. Right, the boy. Yeah. They obviously had no idea what we were talking about. What did he say exactly to lead us on this? Uh, that four days ago he saw these two brothers and Isaac uh, wandering about the church. And that's what, that they don't usually wander about the church, which is what made the boy think that they took the bones. But now you think that that was all a clever ruse, and you think he took the bones. Are you telling me what I think? I don't know, I think so. Is Roth intelligent when he's telling other people how they intelligently think? <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I just work here. <laughs> At the very least, I think he knows a little bit more than he's giving us. Okay. How does he even know? No, 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 put that away, put that away. We are talking put, to a child. Put that away. Figuring out what happened. He's an adult. No, he's not, actually. Oh, how old was he? Give he, or take? What, 12, well, 14? That's an adult. We are absolutely not killing a child. He's old enough to marry. He's old enough to get beaten up for, 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 for breaking the rules. No. Why are you keep looking at me? Well, I don't know. You're the Rain one. your monster in there. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, so much whinging. Uh, fine, let's just go back to the church. Well, well, I think it's night time. I mean, it is night time. Well, I think we don't really have much luck with that. Well, then we hour. know where he'll be. Right. Tomorrow. When I'll... Why? Probably asleep. Church is closed up. It's night time. Church is closed at night? Yes. Weird. It's not really... It's actually for the norm. Most of it. That's weird. Y'all are weird. Mm. Uh, I mean, okay, I fine. am, Let's go but... Back. All right, back to the end. I'm going to do terrible. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do my job now. <laughs> it's been a long day, you guys. Hey, Sam, wake up. <laughs> I didn't, like, nod off during work today. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we get back to the inn. You guys go back to the inn. Mm-hmm. everybody outside oh hey look the brothers aren't there this time i wonder why i really should have killed the kid like he didn't really do anything wrong other than trying to swindle people he didn't really he deserve... tried to swindle people he didn't deserve his job he tried to lead us into a back alley and ah, build have his way with sarah's build character Oh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good way to get. That's a good. That sounds like a good way to get cut. That sounds like a good way to get cut. That's a very good way to get cut. Yeah. No. Broken jaw builds character. I don't. Uh -uh. I mean, well, I left him. Still don't know. Pain is the greatest idea. teacher. If you say so. Anyway, walk in. I'm just gonna go to bed. Actually, why don't uh, Flynn where are you sleeping? Because you never we never settled on your sleeping arrangements. You slept outside Arena's room last time. Right, I was gonna get Arena and the kids if they're not in the church to sleep in the room with the most beds, and I'll sleep in their room. I don't know. I'm just I, that was yeah, that makes sense. That was my assumption before. But that was like my bed, like. Just... You got, your, <laughs> you got your choice. So she pushed all four beds together to make yeah. one super yes. mega bed. Super bed. <laughs> Not for kids. It's mine. She built well, a fort. You didn't tell him about that. Pill a fort. Yep. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna. Pill a fort I'm, like, no Flynn Mo allowed. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get to the bar. And... Flynn Mo, uh, Irina's not down at the bar. <laughs> I'm assuming she's up in her room. Second dinner. You can go check. Yeah, that's... Sorry, Flynnmo's assuming they're up in their room. I'm gonna go have second dinner. Cool. Uh, Flynnmo, you, you gonna go, like, knock on her door? Yeah. Okay. There's no response. They might be at the church. Actually, didn't they say they were going to the church? Mm -hmm. Did remember. you lose the very important NPC? Oh, yeah, because they're only my responsibility. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, like, at this point, though, like, they, they might be at the be. church. I think... Crap. Well, are you gonna Use your thieves tools out? to are pick you... the lock and see if they're actually there? Uh, check yeah. if the door is uh, unlocked before you pick the lock? Yeah, 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 hold yeah. on. <laughs> no, that was to a body. No, no. okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna... have always, you I'll, know this. I'll check to see if they're in there, so I'll try and open the door. The door is locked. Okay, and then I'll try and lock the try and unlock the door with Goidens. Can't find on the sale. Well. So honestly, 14, I don't see this either results 15, in nothing 15, or nineteen. Very bad result. Uh, you pick the lock, and I open it. Okay. You see Arena and the kids sleeping soundly inside. Good. I just quietly close. Actually, I could sleep in there with them because I wanted to keep watch last time, but. I'm going to quietly close the door and relock it. Plus, that would be creepy. Well, really creepy. Yeah, just a little bit. Like, at least almost I... as creepy as keeping hundreds of dolls of her in your room. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some orders of magnitude there. Nah. Difference. It's definitely the next creepiest thing that we have on our list. There's... I, I think there's at least one or two. What other creepy things have been on the list? Uh, Steps. Christ. Trying to sacrifice a child to get the fish to come back to the lake. I meant arena specifically, but that's fair. <laughs> uh, uh, Strahd thinking that he's her wife for 200 years. Before she was even born. <laughs> Third next creepy thing on the list. Anyway. Um, that's 400, by the way. Dinner. Hmm? It matters at this point. I don't know, I'm getting dinner. <laughs> 200 and 400 years aren't that different to a human. But Strahd's not human, so... And yes, it means even less... I am. It means even less to him, because he's immortal. 200, 400 years, week, two weeks, mm. whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna lock the door back up, and I'm gonna crash in the room. In in the room that I got. Which room is that, Flimbo? The bottom one on the map. Okay. The, the one with the... Saris has pushed all the four beds together into a mega bed. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna sleep against the wall. <laughs> it, it's a character trait. Mm, mm. I sleep with my back to the wall. I have all my stuff bundled in my arms. Mm. I sleep. Mm. Damn. Orc. Okay. Are the rest of you <laughs> sitting around a table, or what are you doing? Yeah, we're at a table. <laughs> just an urchin. <laughs> just an urchin, not an orphan. <laughs> urchin, orphan, tomato, tomato. That's what I thought. Mine was willing. I didn't kill my parents. And they, well, I didn't think you did until now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to think this is all a ruse. Anyway. Hey, can you actually move my camera back towards where it originally was? Stay I just keep trying to naturally sit this way and it keeps cutting my head off. Okay. Maybe you just don't have that part of your head. Did you ever think about that? Wait, did I, you already did I, oh, I didn't room? silence you. Fine. I did not it's not a big it. deal. Oh. It's just yeah. I can learn to pick up my books instead of leaning over and staring directly at them. Anyway, so you guys just run to. Uh, What's for dinner? Same thing we have. Uh, good berries. That's bland and tasteless. Uh, there's, there's there seems to be stew tonight. Ooh, what kind of stew? Good berry stew. Uh, <laughs> meaty and delicious. Mmm. Just how that. I like it. Cool. Who's getting bowls of that? Everybody cool. Everybody pay a silver. Okay. I tip well. Where's my silver? How much is well? Uh, four silver. Cool. 400% <laughs> tip. Yeah. It's important to be good to your servers. That's how, then they'll be good to you. Uh... Tegan, as you wait on your order to come out, you see your hunter friends up sitting by the stairs again. Mm -hmm. uh, and the one with the beard kind of motions you to come over. I will go over. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good. You just kind of he's like, mm. all right. So, took some doing, but we're able to scrounge you up some silver bolts. Good. So, like I said, aren't going to come cheap. It's going to be five gold a bolt. All right. That seems reasonable. All right. I got you 20 here. So it'll be an even 100. All right. 
Fair enough. I'll uh, uh, separate out a hundred. Actually, points. you know what? Since we're since you're a hunter, I'm gonna cut you a deal. We'll just say eighty. Appreciate it. Um, you, uh, come back another time. I might be able to scrounge up some more. How much gold do you guys have? I have seventy-eight gold. Ninety-eight. I now have fifty-eight. Um, I appreciate it. That's uh, it'll be very useful in uh, dealing with the beasts of the wilds. Yeah, should be. I burp loudly. Which is good. Uh, okay. Some more, please. Pretty so sure. My accent. So she takes your bowl, takes the silver, and gets you another bowl. Yeah. Um. Cool. Twenty silver bolts. Good job. Woo. Good for some murdering. Honestly, more oh, than yeah, I was that's expecting. what I forgot. I was expecting only ten. Um, I'll just kind of tip my hat to them and go back to my <clears throat> stew. Yeah, they both give you kind of a nod and you know, a little incline of the head, and you go back to your table. You see an empty bowl in front of you, or at your seat. Wrath has a full bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Raise my hand for another bowl. <laughs> It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes, takes the oh, silver, good. They're takes learning. the bowl, goes to the kitchen, brings back another bowl. So after finishing my second bowl, I... <laughs> second bowl. Uh, Rick Tavio stands up and makes his way upstairs. Mm. Mm. Shit, I forgot about uh, that guy. He gets an inside door. Yeah, Rictavio got here before you. He gets a good room. <laughs> well, see y'all in the morning. Get up, get up, push in chair, walk outside, upstairs, go to the room that I was staying in previously, as I still have the room key. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and just go up to my room. Then and he gets naked. I think I'm going to just trance, because nice. I didn't use any of my um, spells or anything, so like, there's no point. I'm sleeping early. Well, your you your trance is your sleep. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm not gonna just like pass out on the bed. I'm actually gonna trance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Sarah, as you open the door, there is a flinmo in the corner. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I don't. I have will, anything I will take all of the pillows, mm. build a little fort, and make a sign from page for my spell book saying no flinmo. That's rude. I right. Didn't even take a bed. Right. And I paid for this room. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a sucker's bet. Oh, Rookie mistake. Oh man. Oh yeah. How many rooms? How many days actually did we pay for? Uh, you guys basically like paid up for a week, I think. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I, I remember. Thinking. I remember yeah. giving a lot of gold, or giving a lot of money. Up front. I, I don't remember and I'm terrible at taking notes so I'm going to say you paid up for a week yeah it was either a week or like five days like, let's not worry this. about it unless we need to worry about I've, it I've got this notepad here that I should probably use oh, but I don't <laughs> nah. Fair enough. taking notes is a rookie DM mistake well, seat in your pants hold exactly. it's all up here it's all yeah. the only place it needs to be iron vice yeah, no, I'm writing shit down. I mean, you could take, That's like, the, a exactly. dry erase marker. Exactly. Just let, there. just let the players write it all down. No, I'm talking exactly. about when I'm running Horde uh, Dragon Queen. So, Tegan, are you going to bed or are you staying up for a while? Yeah, I said I was going up as well. Okay, cool. Sorry, I guess you join Roth in your shared bedroom of manliness. There is a very loud snoring. I'm... <laughs> I've slept through worse. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. Uh, everybody go ahead and roll me perception. Oh boy. 13. Is this words. sound based? 15. Yes. Okay, take the better of. 14. 18. 18. Roth, you hear what sounds like footsteps on the roof. Oh, 
Uh, I'm going to get out of bed, grab my axe, and go take a look. Are you going outside to take this look, or...? If I am hearing noises on the roof, then yes. Okay. Uh, so you go outside... Oh, actually, better question. Uh, sorry. Be just because the stairs. Uh, do I look like, from the top of the stairs that ge get us to this hallway, does it look like I could get to the roof from there? Uh, yeah, if you kind of hopped out over the balcony, or over the railing and up to the roof, you could do that. Okay. Uh, you'd have to give me an acrobatics check. Uh, what about athletics? Uh, sure. It's just gonna okay. be more difficult. Sure. Um, that is a 23. Cool. You just muscle right up there, and there's nothing there. Um, at least, is there, okay, actually, is there anything that's like, can I see the whole roof, or is there, like, stuff blocking my line of sight? When, when you're up there, you can basically see the whole roof. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Must have been a raccoon. I'll go just hop back down on the stairs and go to bed. Okay. I hope it was a raccoon. Yeah. <clears throat> Put my axe next to bed. Lay down. Okay. Go back to sleep. Why don't you just share it with everyone? Well, I'm, just, I'm trying not to. <laughs> what? James is sharing notes. The passing a, notes. It's a were, <laughs> it's a were raccoon. <laughs> Wear trash panda. Shuffle cat. Satan's tanuki. Uh, it would to be. <laughs> um, yeah. Go okay. Back to bed. Everybody goes back to sleep. Uh, we we hear a you know you hear a RPG at the end jingle. Ding 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 ding. Mm, yeah. Not quite. Something like that. Yeah. Because that, that one's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think that was Metroid. Um, oh, God. Okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, then tell us who wakes up first. Well, everybody roll. I mean, it's... it's I mean, it's obviously the character that needs only four hours. I mean, I don't know what kind of roll this is, if it's just a 20 roll. Yeah. I got a 3. I got a 13. I got an 18. I got a 10. So ten. it's about the order I was expecting. Saris wakes up first. Yeah. I'm surprised I wouldn't wake up early. I went to bed earlier. Well, not much earlier. You've had an exhaustive day. You have to walk, like, 5, 25% farther than But he also do. slept on the corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah's gonna go ahead and go downstairs. Mm. Hurry. No. Okay. Uh, you get downstairs, and the Mardikovs are quietly conversing with, with each other behind the bar. Oh, right. The, yeah. Cool, I'm gonna walk up to the bar. Thank you. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Um, Says Mr. Mardikov. Yeah, um... Oh, yeah. I, I would like breakfast. I don't think we've met, uh, met Mr. Mardikov, have we? You have. He told you about the job to go get wine. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, okay. Uh... If you have a breakfast, Mr. Martikov just kind of goes, all right, and heads toward the kitchen. Uh, Mrs. Martikov takes the silver from you. Yep. And take it. I guess good berry. <laughs> <laughs> just going to permanently mark off that smell slot. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I'll get my stuff together. 
um, go check on the um, arena room. The door is closed and locked. Okay, I'll knock. Knock, knock. Uh, you're shuffling inside, and Arena kind of through the door. Hello? Just checking in. Okay. Still, still alive in there. Taken. Yeah? People person. <laughs> nope, I'm dead now. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be protecting her. Is it that weird to check in on her? her no, it's good to argue and everything. still alive in there. It was... The question you ask, not the... <laughs> it's the thought you know, that counts. Her hair is kind of humorously frazzled. She's got, like, a cute nightshirt on. It's, it's, it's a cute image. Okay. All right. Going downstairs. Okay. You just leave. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ooh. You get downstairs. Saris is at the bar. Cool. I'll take a seat next to Saris. Saris, what are you eating this morning? What's for breakfast? Eggs. <laughs> and leftovers. Eggs it is. <laughs> I'll pass Saris two new good berries. Woo! Yay. Thank you. I forget, do those heal hit point or not? They, they heal do. a hit point. Oh, okay. That That's... is their purpose. I thought it was free food. Both. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I mean, a lot in column A, which is heals a hit point, mm -hmm. and a little bit in column B, which is a yeah, uh, like everybody has rations or yeah. access to an inn. Neat. Ross. Oh. Awaken. I wake up, put on my clothes, pick up my axe and and bags. And go for a morning run. Okay. Gotta stay swole. Gotta stay fit. This doesn't keep it... This doesn't maintain itself, people. This doesn't someone, maintain itself, people. <laughs> As someone who was in shape before he met his wife, I can attest to that. Yeah. Well, I pointed to this, and then I pointed to my character sheet. Strength and con score. No, Catherine, it's not your fault that I got fat and weak. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this doesn't maintain itself. There we go. <laughs> thank you, Chris. This does. <laughs> uh, yeah. Roth. Mm hmm. Go ahead and roll me perception while you're out running. Oh, perception? Yes. Is it hearing or listening? Or no, it is, it is a sight perception. Got it. Six. Unless I can use my passive. <sighs> passive perception. I guess I'm tired. What's your passive? Fourteen. Uh, yeah. You oh, notice? Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you I... notice a uh, a group of people kind of standing around a house as you are jogging by. Any particular house? Like? It... Uh, no. It just seems to be a random house. Hmm. It's not one of the ones, yeah, it, and it's not one of the ones we visited before. No, 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 no. So it's not like one of the mansions, it's just yeah, a house. Yeah. I mean... Hmm. Uh... Hmm. Uh, Thanks. I think it's a little weird, but, I mean, this place is, a lot of these people and their customs are weird. Um, do they look, like, visibly upset, or does the house look perturbed in any way? The people look sad. Well, that's kind of far from the course for this place. Oh, but... Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, have I met someone who's not sad in this world? I mean, Rick Tavio's pretty upbeat. <laughs> yeah, he's not cool from dude. this world. Um, None of us yeah, are. But that, and that, but the house doesn't look perturbed at all? Like, kicked in no. or broken windows? No. Mm. On fire. Dead. Dead house. Dead house. Oh, yeah, yeah. The door has it transformed into whirling scythe blades. <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, no. <laughs> um, I I probably don't make too much notice of it and just keep going. Okay. Mm. Linmo. Right. 
Good morning. My camp died and saw myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you wake up. It's my stick. Kindness and good news. It's a band. G and G. A little G and G. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and get some eggs and potatoes. No, sausage you, and potatoes. Your guidance successfully helps you mask your halfling morning wood. Congratulations. <laughs> Is that something I need to think about today? <laughs> Just a wand there. in my pocket. Good fairy in your cup. It's actually squeakers. Yeah, that too. I do kind of want to make squeakers intelligent, but... Mm. P previous band name was Panda Pornographers. I thought I sent you one. Um, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't good. I don't know. Oh, that's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Scotland, there's a competition to see who can fit how many rabid ferrets down their pants. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, guys, heads up. Lights are flickering and there's storm weather. So if we go out, we all die. TPK, we'll get back to you next week. Yeah. Uh, sorry, lights just flickered on your end? Yeah, yeah. it's and fine. The, Don't worry about it. The backup battery kicked in for a second. Don't worry about well, it. Well, that's why we have it. Good job, Bonnie. Oh, uh, I kept guidance on myself? <laughs> no, counts <laughs> guidance on the computer. It's the one that needs it. Anyway, okay. so Flimo presumably... Yeah, yeah. you walked in, hopped yeah. up on a stool. I'm getting up on a stool. potatoes and sausage. Potatoes. Okay, cool. Okay. Probably a silver, I guess. Yeah. I need to reprint my character sheet. That should be their slogan. Money. Oh. <laughs> Only Everything silver. runs silver. <laughs> no, it sucks when you can't have any caffeine. I bet. It, oh, yeah. It I must do, be terrible. I do drugs instead. Oh, well, it is when you have two jobs and you can't have any caffeine. It kind of mm. sucks. Yeah. Uh, granted, I never was a coffee guy. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> hey, I didn't think you even drank coffee. No, but I could have a soda right now to help me wake up. Yeah. Just, like, mm -hmm. slap yourself in the face. It's like the nah. same thing. doesn't really work for me. Anyway, you all, <laughs> all have to eat, uh, eat, eat breakfast. Uh, Roth comes back in. Well, on my way back in, are there still people outside the house? I assumed you kind of made, like, a circuit so you didn't go by there again. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's probably what I would do. By the way, this circuit is invisible. Just need mm -hmm. to... Yep. Yep. It, well, it's yes, happening I off need, screen. I need to do this. The, no, the circuit's off screen, Sam. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It happened off camera. Anyway, yeah. I mean. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. I come in sweaty. A good bit musky. Like, let's face it, Brath probably hasn't bathed in, like, ever no probably it's how, when did we get here three three days ago four days uh you've been here about a week have we been here a week already we were on the road for a couple days yeah. oh yeah god yeah i haven't bathed in a, a week <laughs> yeah no i wouldn't have come back to the inn i'd have gone up to the lake okay yeah sorry i, didn't realize, <laughs> I honestly didn't realize our characters had been here a week already yeah, no. Wrath goes and bathes. Yeah, because it was like one day in Death House, and then like we st stayed overnight in town of Barovia. And then we and then and it was left. like three or four days on the road, and then a day here. Yeah, you're right. This is the seventh. This is the beginning of the seventh, like seventh day in, Bar Bar in yeah, Ravenloft. Yep. Um. Yeah. No, I go bathe. Okay. Uh. Roll to bathe. <laughs> Do you have some sort of bath taking skill? Um, I imagine it's some like I don't know, a nature maybe. Survival. Survival. I don't really consider Charisma. bathing a survival skill. Like I mean, I'm pretty, not bathing is how you get disease. I'm pretty not bathing is how you get like infections and disease. Yeah. So. I guess I have and some monocle start... of survival skills. James yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Uh, throw me survival to bathe. Okay, I got a 12. It's a pretty good bath. Yeah. You know, undo... For, for a lake bath, it's pretty good. Lake bath is, like, second best bath. Anyway, um... Yeah, you know, undo undo the braids, clean things out, mm. brush it. Lose the yeah. braid that you tied into your braid. Nah. <laughs>
I don't know. Uh, that all got left at shore. You don't? No. no. And orthometry. What kind of what kind of crappy caster are you? are you? I have too many options for cantrips. What other cantrips are there? Wah. There's lights. And light. There's light, mage hand, and that's all that matters. Impressive digitation. Nah, not important. That was the one we were just berating him about not having. No, we're berating him for not having that or Thaumaturgy. The fact that he doesn't have one of the either is what's offensive. I have Guidance, Light, Shocking Grass, Spare the Dying, and Minor Illusion. Yeah, see? Minor Illusion is very important. Eh. Anyway, yeah, I go bait. Y'all see stuff at the end. It's how you make Ouija boards for ravens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not a Ouija board. Uh, so Roth comes back from running and bathing. Yeah. All right, let's go interrogate a child, shall we? Uh, Roth, uh, I'm assuming that, that when you got in the lake, you shook yourself like a dog. Oh, definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Was there a wizard out fishing with lightning? Oh my god! <laughs> Not that uh, I saw. Mm. Breakfast. Hmm. I'm thinking stew, Get something eggs. Fun. Wait, do you have more of those honey buns? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like three of those, <clears throat> five of those. Get something for the road. We're leaving. And tall thing of wine. Uh, Please. She takes like 50 silver from you. We, we may just want to leave him here. Oh, actually, and he can catch up with us later. We should just go ahead and. Good idea. Enjoy your breakfast. We will be back. I shortly. intend to. If we're not back by the time you're done, just come to the church. Okay, I'll assume that at least one of you died. Go for it. Feel free. Cool. Take wages with yourself. Uh, it, as uh, as they leave, you have a okay. wonderful conversation with the Mardikovs about ra raising children. Hmm. Oh, I'm sad. A little bit. <laughs> but also happy to know that they have nice kids. Okay. So you guys are going to the church? Yes. Actually, I think I have Voldemort's pawn somewhere, too. <laughs> I can give you that one if you want to be creepy. We should have a counter that's like just how many times I say some variation of, wow, I'm tired tonight. Because mm, mm. it just keeps hitting me. Yeah. I think that comes from Actually, while that's should... happening, I it did leave a, my drink somewhere, and I'm going to go get it. So I will be RB. Oh, I'm RB. <laughs> Good job, Redbeard. Try to RBG. It's a show. It's available every week, every other week on what night? Thursday. Yay. What are you guys playing this week? Uh, more probably more Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi. Till we finish that's, it. We're like that's that's great. Two thirds of the way done, maybe? I, I feel don't like really we're know. closer than that, but eh. it's hard to say. Yeah. Anyway, where are you guys going? Church. Take me to church. Uh that's not about actual church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it about the bar? Uh no, that's about uh Pretty sure it's about butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> kind of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh dear. So, I feel at like a church that's like not a, about butt stuff. I feel like I need just like a tracking thing to always keep Sam's head in the middle of his frame. Because it seems like you're always on one side or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't sit still in a swivel chair, and I also yeah. don't like sitting straight on. Yeah. Like, I like to kind of no, lean to the side. I want to be like, get no, a good no, profile. It's good framing. This is aesthetic. Mm. Yeah. Right. Center frame is for Pokemon Snap and losers. Yeah, and actually, like... <laughs> Rule of thirds! Yeah, but it's bad. Oh, man. Okay, so you guys head over to the church. It's the early morning. Going to church and not butt stuff. Uh, people are leaving the church from... Fuck, I can't stop yawning! Uh, the night before... Uh... Father Lucian and the boys are tidying up. Oh boy. Which one was... I don't remember his name. Which one was the one that's suspicious? 
Um, Molovag. Mo- Mil- Milovag? Milovage. M- Mil- Milovage. That one. Yeah, I have that written down actually, but on the wrong page. Uh, let's go find Milovage. Uh, Milovage is sweeping in a corner. Just grab him and pin him to a wall. No. I vote you do that. I'm too small. <laughs> <laughs> Have they killed the kid yet? Yes. No. <laughs> Good. Uh, Head schedule. I love it. Milavodge, we need to talk to you for a minute. Uh, Does the hot drink need a coaster? Okay. Yes. Everything okay. needs a coaster. How about okay. Make you we go there. somewhere else? Well, I mean, I don't want to talk to him in public. We don't want to raise suspicions. Why don't we take a step outside into the graveyard where there's probably nobody? Yeah. I don't want to raise suspicion. Hey, teen boy, why don't you follow me into this dark alley? No, not... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You mind if we just go Creepy. outside and talk? Uh, we'll take care sure. of you when you get back. You'll take care of them. Don't, don't speak for us. I'll help you with your chores <laughs> if you come and talk to me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> where were you at? What was it again? It was four days ago. Five, Five, days, days, ago. Days, ago. Five days ago. So, we followed up with the, uh... Uh... Wachter? Wachter. Wachter kids. Wachter sons, and they had no idea what you were talking about. And we also talked to Isik, and he had no idea what he was talking about, what, what you were talking about. So... What are you talking about? Why are you trying to put suspicion on people that really don't know what's going on here? And you guys just asked who was around. I told you who was around. Yeah, I don't... I'm not quite inclined to believe you right now, because you had the opportunity, and... Seems like you were trying to get us on the wrong path. So, why don't you tell us a little bit more of the truth? Like, why were you here then? Why were you trying to put suspicion on other people? I'm going to insight check him when he starts talking. Okay, are you going to roll persuasion on this stuff you're saying? or? Yeah, I can do that. Or... Yes, I would like to persuade him to talk. Uh, Wait. That's... Don't make me talk. Roll Fifteen. Uh, can you say what you were going to say again? Uh, look, I... I feel like you're trying to put suspicion on other people when maybe you were doing something that you weren't supposed to be doing. Why don't you tell me the truth of what you were doing that night so I can kind of piece together some more information because the two people you told me to talk to had no idea what you were talking about. Okay. Fine. Look. Jessica told me about the bones. And a guy came by about a week ago. He paid me a good sum of money to get the bones for him. And where did he tell you to deliver them? Uh... Kind of did a handoff thing out here behind the church. And who's who's Jessica? Do we know yet? I uh, don't think so. Jessica's okay. the other boy. Uh, and where is he? He's sweeping. I'm going to go get him. Doing chores and stuff. I don't think that's our concern. And who did you hand it off to? Uh, I should look up names. Hmm. Yeah. And just let me know when I arrive, Sam. Holy crap. I will. They were right. Sure. Cool. Yeah. I thought we were so off. <laughs> it just, there was, there was too much evidence that pointed at multiple people all at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it felt planted. Uh, he's, uh, Heinrich Vanderhort. Vanderhort. That's a name. He's the coffin maker in town. 
the last place we ever would have looked for a corpse. Vanderton. What was it? Van- Heinrich Vandervoort. Vandervoort. Don't blame me. Blame Philip's waifu, Chris Perkins. And Boo. <laughs> uh, right. Well, that's both helpful and not. Why oh. would you do such a thing? Just for money? Don't you know what those bones do? I don't know. I can take a gamble. You realize you're gambling everyone's life here, right? You realize life here blows and you don't know anything about my fucking problems, shorty. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I'm sure dying horrible death to monsters that come and swarm the city after the protection is gone is a great way to go. So much better than your current life. And so much better, I'm, gl- I'm glad you made that decision for everyone else here. Now we have to go and fix the mess that you made, and you should probably go tell the father what you did. I'm going to persuade him, if that's something I can do. Yeah, you can roll on that. Or intimidate. I'm going to yeah, use my inspiration. Levels. Ah, that is much better. Uh... 15 plus 6 is 24. Alright, fine. Maybe I will. (laughs) Alright, let's go fix the problem. Where, by chance, is the coffin maker, by the way? Uh, he, he, he gives the instructions that, uh, it's... Oh, I gotta look the map. Does it have an orange roof? (laughs) Probably. Most of the important buildings do. Uh, you understand? I want to eat on stream. Yeah, it's, like, uh, oh. it's this building over here. I understand. Hmm? What? This building over here. Yep, uh, it is oh, the one you It's the one I pointed at. at. Why didn't you tell us to go there in the first place, James? Yeah, if you knew. Yeah. God. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, let's see. First, we should probably catch, um, Lucian up with what's going on here. Well, that's why I was telling Chyla to do that. And I'm kind of, like, putting my hand on the back of the kid's, like, Mm -hmm. back and, like, guide him towards the church. Keep him honest. Uh, one, do you know anything else? Anything (laughs) else that might be helpful before... You know. Hey man, I just got paid. I don't care. Well. He heads into the church. Alright. Well, if you want, we can go head towards, I think, Times of the Essence, because I don't think the bones are going to be with the coffin maker. We can go. You guys need us there. Especially if Ross is coming over to the church first. We don't want him running around by himself. I, as, as if summon Roth appears. Myself. Huh? What? Yeah, I walk and say, I'll have you know I spent the entire morning running and I got into zero trouble. Ha. That's take hard that. to believe. <laughs> people um, are asleep. No one to get in trouble with. I saw like five people, like outside a house. And then there was the baker and the guy walking a dog. There were a lot of, a couple of people out. People get up early around here. Irrelevant, let's go. Where are we going? Coffin maker. The kid. What's a gave, coffin maker? The kid gave the bones to the uh, undertaker. I thought that that's what the priest did. It's complicated. Oh, they're so weird. We're <laughs> <laughs> well, gonna fall. Say we don't. Say we aren't. So well, I think that might be you, actually. No. Anyways, we need to go to the coffin maker because the bones were delivered to him, at the very least. Probably is an intermediary. Do we want to at least check with Lucian first and make sure? Yeah, we might as well. A few minutes won't make a difference. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Where's Freak and, Myr- and Myrtle? They've been being Aren't taken care of at the at the church. church I thought. Oh, were they? Oh, okay. I, ca- I thought they were here. I thought they were here at the church. They've been like staying at the end in the church. Right. 
Well, they were playing with the. Film. They were playing with the ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulder. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that another time then. We'll do that next summer at the end. Okay. You were gonna give them something. Hmm? Oh no! I just wanted to see how they were doing. Oh, because I care. Okay. Well, I care too. That's why I broke in the room. I care too. That's why I know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and that's why you'll never be best dad. <laughs> I don't want to be best dad. You can't be best dad. But I'm just she saying. You are in the running for best mom, though. Fair. Uh, she can be anything she set her mind sets her mind to. Exactly. <laughs> Um, give it a beat and then head on into the church to talk to the priest. Okay. Is everybody else going with you, or? Yeah. yeah. A couple yeah. minutes will make a difference. Okay. Uh, see so you come in, Father Lucian kind of walks in and goes, the boss just told me everything, what are you going to do? Wait. Well. Oh, I thought we had the kid with us. I guess we just... No, I, you, like, gestured for him to go ahead, and then oh, okay. he went waited ahead. a minute, then went in. Wait, what did he tell us? What did the boy know? The bit, the boy took the bones and gave them to the, um, coffin maker. So I think at this point we'll follow up on that lead, talk to Mr. Vanderhort, and try to get to the end of all this. Hopefully before the thing we did last night comes back to bite us in the ass. We didn't do anything last night. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't really think we... There were those two idiots. We pot, we bro- uh, the They're the sons of what's-her-face. Then we broke one of their jaws. Maybe you don't and... talk about all that. Why? Just maybe keep stuff like that to yourself. It Relying that just does nothing but cause problems. Anyway, we'll go talk to Mr. Vanderhort. <laughs> I keep on wanting to say Vandertunt because that's the archer yeah. name. That's fine. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and we'll uh, report back to you once we know more. Hmm. Very well. Good luck to you. Good luck with him. Both of them, actually. In cahoots, remember? Yeah. Well, the, as far as we know, the only thing that the other kid did was tell, tell him, him that the bones are there. Yeah. Which could just be like, I heard that there's secret bones hidden beneath the church. And that could a really good Matt Pat impression, Chris. Yeah. Good yeah. job. <laughs> what, was it? Okay. Sure. I don't know. Sure, why not? <laughs> Anyways, off to the coffin maker. Yeah. What if those bones are where the kids from Five Nights at Freddy's go? Oh my god, those bones are the Five Nights at Freddy's kids. <laughs> the purple guy did it. And what if Strahd was also Luigi? Hey, he could be. There's not enough sucking and blowing happening in this campaign for Luigi's mansion. Oh, anyway. I hear there's a lot of my sucking and blowing. Hatred of Matt Pat. On to the coffin shop. To the coffin shop! Uh, you guys go really, really, really. This uninviting shop is two stories tall and has a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. Oh, All of the windows shutters are closed up tight and a deathly silence surrounds the establishment. <laughs> Let's open the door. <laughs> yeah, we're opening the door. I knock on the door. No, I'm not e- I'm not even going that far. He fucking stole bones. I'm gonna aggressively open this door. Exactly. <laughs> Limo, the door is locked. Well, I'm gonna Not open for the long. door. <laughs> well, okay, it's going for myself. I, I kick uh, in the door. So Roth walks up and knocks on the door. Yeah. Uh, you hear a voice inside. We're closed. Go away. I don't care. We're coming in. Just let me. Just yeah. Give me a... I I think an axe solves this problem really well. I, I already did. That takes time. I'm pretty sure I can swing my axe faster than you can pick a lock. It doesn't take that long. It, it takes a couple out of, of the way. No, it doesn't. <laughs> nope. Whatever. Which one of you rolled? I we both did. did. God damn it, guys. <laughs> so, Flinmo, as you kneel down to pick the lock, an axe smashes into the door above your head. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of destruction of property. Sometimes You're the one that said to open the door. Yes! 
any the way door. that lets him live here. Kick he's... door. <laughs> Listen. Give me a strength check. Woo! He, he can pay for a new door. That strength or athletics? Problem. Strength. 15 strength. You knock the door in. Okay, what going. do we see? Hang on, let me get you there. What cash going for myself? Is it your initiative, James? I do it while he's kicking the door. <laughs> <laughs> Axe kick. So it's two actions. Axe kick. <laughs> Isn't that a game? Wow, I actually had your guys' tokens set up right. Oh, nice. Wait, we can control me? Mm. Yeah! 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 I'm a party member! <laughs> oh, well, it only took you ten sessions. We're on session six. So this, is this, is session this is session ten. What? James. Yeah. yeah. Where this... have you been? Today has been taking, like, three weeks. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay. I'll fix it. But, yeah. Uh, kick in the door. What do I see? And take a step. You in. see an old... Sad looking bearded man sitting at a table, very scared. Where are the where are the bones? Are you intimidating him? Sure, why not? Uh fifteen intimidation. There you go. Upstairs. How do we know they're real? Because the that. vampires are guarding them. Oh! I see. <laughs> All right, well. Are the vampires upstairs? Wait, can we? Okay, there we go. Yes. Got it. <laughs> uh, start lighting a torch. I'll cast Bless on everyone. Um, what does that do? Uh, you three will have an extra D4 on your attack and saving throws. Too. I'm going to manacle this guy to a... Uh, is there something solid? I, I see so a you could manacle under the table or the workbench. Mm. Sure. No, oh, great. Those are sound very burnable. Uh, I, in case no. I missed it, I lit a torch. You are not burning this house down. Why? We need the bones. Oh, bones don't burn. Yes, oh. they, yes do. they do. Yes, they do. It's called cremation. It's what you do for your funerals. <laughs> They'll be fine. No. <laughs> you no. said they were magic. Magic bones don't burn. Sacred. Except for one time. Sacred. That's not, the. Uh, you, why are you saying the same word? They're not the same word. That's exactly the same word. Put that torch away. We're not burning the house down. Yeah, I'm burning the house down. I'm gonna no. slide of hand the torch away from him. You can't slide of hand. I'm the doing torch it. Out of my I'm hand. doing it. I got a twenty-one. I'm doing it. You can't. That's not. You can slide of hand. Actually, that's, that's not slide of hand. It's disarm, but that'd be an opposed athletic. I think. Yeah. Put the torch down, Excuse and not burning the house down. We will deal with it later. What, are you scared of fighting a couple vamps face to face? The bones are upstairs in my bedroom, and the vampires are asleep in the storage room. Is that right. upstairs or downstairs? They're both upstairs. Both upstairs. Got it. I... Guess I waited to cast Bless until we dealt with the whole torch situation, because I didn't realize he was doing it, like, that quickly. Bless only lasts a minute. I'm oh. not going to, like, do well, it until it's well, okay. If they're asleep, then maybe we can sneak the bones out. And oh. what? There's do I see stairs? Vampires uh, you don't see stairs that. in this I mean, room. you're not yet. wrong. I would like to kick open whatever door is closest. I'll let you choose, Sam. Dealer's choice. What? Okay. Well, the closest one would be the one, like, right there. Well, yes, but I assume that we had all moved into the room at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, if we're, you know, yelling at him and trying to take torches away from me. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Flawless. Uh, Ra. Um, uh, sorry, so this, this first room you guys came into, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ranged haphazardly about the floor of this musty L-shaped room are 13 wood... Nope, that's a different room. That thing got moved. Fine. But yeah, move me. Uh, so, this workshop contains everything a carpenter needs to make coffins and furniture. Three sturdy work tables stretch the length of the west wall. Uh, hang on. Let me move that, because it's going to bug me. 
Okay. I moved some things around and accidentally moved a marker out. Uh, Roth, the room you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, a table with four chairs is in one corner of this room. Mm -hmm. A well a, uh, with a lantern hanging from a chain directly above. Two well made cabinets stand against the east wall. Okay. That sounds like not vampires. Let's what? kick open the next door. Well, hold on. You, I, I want to talk to the guy real quick. Where's okay. your room? It's upstairs. Uh, go up the stairs and take the door on the right. Where are the stairs? Just in the next room. Which one? The one behind you. Is what? that the one that I kicked, uh, first, uh, the second door I kicked in? No, I think that it was one. this one. You've only kicked in one door so far, Roth. Technically, I kicked open the front door. Okay, dear God, fine. <laughs> uh, okay, <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna open that door. Okay. I'm gonna go with him. Flinmo, this uninviting shop is done. Never mind, I read that one. <laughs> Arranged haphazardly about the floor of this musty L-shaped room are 13 wooden coffins. Lovely. Uh, I'm not concerned about that right now. Upstairs. Or, oh, I guess open the door behind cool. me. Cool. Kick yeah, open the door in you. front of me. And what's out there? Oh, I should have waited one place oh. a little bit. Head up those stairs. Um, Wait a minute, I'm the lead, apparently. Wait, I'm, like... Huh? I'm just gonna turn to Roth and be like, or... Are these then? What? Gesturing at the coffins? Or are these what? The vampires. The vampires. Mm -hmm. He said they were upstairs. These are downstairs. Did he? Yeah, he, he said they were upstairs in a room. The bones are in his bedroom. The vampires are in another room upstairs. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and cast Mage Armor. I think okay. I need that. Oh, you oh yeah. You should, you should, you should probably cast that. at the end of the, at the beginning of each day. Oh, okay. It lasts eight hours. Gotcha. Uh, so, arguably, okay. do or don't, dealer's choice. After okay. breakfast. After breakfast. After breakfast. Yeah. I'm just... so, yeah. I, I, in case you didn't hear me say, I'm, I am uh, r rushing up the stairs of this. Okay. Do you rush past Flimbo? I I mean, I'm not going to not rush past Flimbo. If I can get past Flimbo, I will. Yeah, I'm going up the stairs, too. All right. I guess we're doing is there only one door, door at the top, or is there two. one of the There's left? two, one on your right, and one on your left. Really Got it. Uh, one on the left. Kick it in. Dude did say the one on the right to take. I don't think I heard that. You didn't. Hear that. <sighs> nope. Okay. Yeah. We I'm fight. gonna laugh if our power cuts out. We haven't, I swear. we haven't had a good fight in a while. Yeah. Yeah. When we kick in the door and the power goes out. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Be very professional. Okay, the door bursts open. Okay. And it's filled with 40 vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me move the thing. I, Fuck it, I don't care. It, it creaked open a little bit. <laughs> it, it's actually a bunch of cars on fire. You said vampire, not vampire. James, take 40 damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wouldn't have even killed me. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. But oh, uh, I've been impaled. <laughs> 40 damage wouldn't even have killed me. Ah. Okay. Did you drop this? Roth, this large drafty room is strung with cobwebs and takes up most of the upper floor. Stacks of wooden planks lie amid several crates marked junk. Nice. Um, believing that this is the room I'm supposed to be in, I'm going to give a very loud, barbaric yawp as I charge into the room with my axe. Yawp? Yes. Yawp! Barbaric yawp. Yeah, barbaric yawp. Somebody yawp. hasn't seen Dead Poets Society. Someone's an uncultured swine it's and is living been a, a lesser long life. Time. Oh, okay, Philip. Okay. What are the rest of you doing? Going in. <laughs> I'm going in. And as soon as we see a vampire, rage. I guess the machine. Okay, you don't see any vampires. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going. Don't, can't, don't stop me now. Okay. Oh, yeah. shit. No, I'm going to the other room. 
We made oh. a ton of noise. They probably know we're here. Oh, they definitely do. Oh, yeah. They're probably getting the bones and running. Mm -hmm. Another room. You have a point. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Well, I keep going. I'll stay with Rob. Oh, All God. Right. Everybody roll initiative. We. Not bad. Mm. Rob. Hmm? Your initiative. He said, oh, mine, uh, 16. Taken. 15. Good job. Flinmo. 9. And Saris. 10. We're so good at this. <laughs> okay, Roth, you're up first. I mean, I'm charging until I get to the end. So you're charging at this box in front of I, you? I am running until I see an enemy, is what I am doing. I am moving. You don't see any enemies. He, the man lied to us! There's another room. Ah! Run back the other way. Okay. Yeah, so we, couldn't, we couldn't see the entire room from where he was. From our line of sight. Yeah, so... Yeah. We had to move that part. Yeah, talk and then move back. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put you here. I mean, I have a 50-foot movement speed. And Your I first. can take two moves in the same turn. You, what's, what's it called? A uh, disengage? A no, advance? It's, what's it called? No, dash. Dash. Okay. dash. Your turn's done. Sure. Tegan, you're up. Um, any sign of him over there? Not yet. All right, I'll just uh, move. Um, one. Okay. Take it. Oh, yep. This kitchen contains a square table surrounded by chairs and shelves of provisions. Ooh, I can okay. tell that when I open the door. Can I continue moving and open the other door? You didn't move in far enough? Yep. You always on the shelves. Yeah. This modest bedchamber holds a cot and several well-made pieces of furniture, including a table, a padded chair, a bookshelf, and a wardrobe. Yeah. The coffins. Let's go. Okay. There's nothing in here. To the coffins. To the coffins. Who's next? Mm, I think Saris, I think, is next. Yep. Maybe. Who knows? Saris is next. No, wait, yes. Yes. Uh, crossbow ready. Going down. Stairs. Okay. I don't... And? I don't, I don't trust this. Are you just going to wait? For yeah, us? I'm going to wait for you guys. Okay. Okay, like, Slim it's your turn. Crossbow in one hand, spellbook in the other. Like, uh, come at me, bitches. I'm going to run down. And start tossing open coffins. I'll start with the one, like, right next to the door. Okay. You toss open a coffin and it's empty. Uh, I move to the the one that I'm actually right next to, uh, to my left. You toss open the coffin and it's empty. Fuck. All right. That's my whole turn. Pre interact. Roth, you're up. Yeah. Um, run down the stairs. And if I can get to a coffin that isn't open, crash into it with my axe. You throw, you crash through an empty coffin. Can I get to another coffin? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I can just yeah. imagine the dude in the other room like, smash. stop destroying my life's work. <laughs> you smash another empty coffin. Okay. I, I'm going to say that's probably also my turn. Yep. Very good. Um, did, I actually just can't see, is there anything in this last corner of this room that I'd be able to see? Or, okay. Um, uh, I guess run to here and, I mean, I hear crashing, mm -hmm. but I don't hear any 
Vampiric sounds. Yeah. Yep. So just call any sign of them. No. None. Nothing. Um. I'm gonna Did you go. Find a Mm-hmm. I mean, did, I I would assume we would have seen a broken window if there was one. True. Sam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no broken windows. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move back into here and start. Ah, this mouse is shitty. Um. Uh, start just investigating, seeing if I can find the okay. broken window. Wait, why wouldn't you search his room first, since mm-hmm. that's where he said it was? Oh, is that he, where he, he said it was oh, in I his bedroom? they were in the storage room. No. Yeah, I was wondering why you walked in there and said, nothing's here. Okay, I thought he said the storage room, sorry. Okay, so, sorry, I'm, I'll search this room. He said the vampires were in the storage room, I think. Got it. Okay. Okay, you, what, are, what are you searching in the room? Um, I guess I'll start with the cupboard. Okay. What did you get? Um, nine. There's nothing in the cupboard. Okay. Hmm. You want to check the wardrobe or the bed or what? I'll check the wardrobe. Cool. Roll it. Uh, 22. You find a secret compartment in the wardrobe? Ooh. Okay. Open it up. You have found the bones of St. Andrew. Good job. Good job, team. And a vampire. Um, <laughs> and a sack containing 30 silver and 12 electrum. Alright. Ooh, electrum. Um, all coins bear the profiled image of Strahd von Zarovich, much like all the other currency you've found since you got here. Oh, so it's cursed. Let's get rid of it. All of our currency has a profile. Yes. We should get rid of it. we got to spend it faster, guys. We're not spending um, it fast enough. Okay, I'll call down. Uh, found the bones. No, no sign of any hostiles. None. Sarah's is gonna come back up the stairs. This this seems too easy. I'm, I'm gonna go talk to that guy. Yeah. That I'm yeah. going into the workshop. Okay, so you both go in here. Sarah's goes upstairs. Yup. Where are they? I grab the man and throw I, him across the table. I told you, they're in the storage room upstairs. They're not in there. Yes, they are. They're in the crates. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here going like, are they going to need me to fucking spell this out for them? <gasps> you put, you had a room with coffins, Sam. Yeah, this is this, is this really our fault? Yeah, blame, blame your beloved Chris Perkins, Philip. I don't know who Chris Perkins is. Neither do I. D&D designer. Oh. He wrote this. Oh. He writes everything. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Go up the stairs, yelling, they're in the boxes! Mm. We checked the boxes. They're the in the upstairs actual boxes! boxes. <laughs> I've gone up there, too. We're gonna kill some vampires. Oh my God. Yeah, Sarah's ain't going anywhere alone. Like, her ass will wait for you guys. She learned that lesson when someone ran out on her. I was there the whole time. Yeah, that is what you sound like when you run away. Yeah. I made a strategic retreat from lightning. Turns out you're not very good at strategy. Apparently I am. I didn't take any All right, let's try this again. Whose turn is it? I don't know. (laughs) Can it be mine? anymore. Let's just say it's mine. Let's just start at the top of the round. Yeah. Yeah, Roth, it's your turn. Cool. I go up... I go up all the stairs. So many stairs. Okay. Uh, get to the storage room. And okay. if I can smack a crate, I'm going to smack a crate. You, you get to here. Wait, there's a crate in the bottom corner. I smack it. Okay, there's nothing in it. Okay, that's my turn. That's a move in, in, in action. <laughs> okay, take it. Boy! Um, I'll run over to this crate and open it. <laughs> there's nothing inside it. Oh, there's just, like, woodworking supplies. <laughs> I just thought you were trying to pull a fast one over on us, Sam. Empty. Empty. Ugh. Got a little of that one. <laughs> Empty. Saris, you're up. You go to the next tree and <laughs> open it, I guess. Oh, that's... Okay, well, mm. you get on your turn. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. 
Six. As far as you can get. I'm gonna shoot the crate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you shoot the crate. Brilliant. A vampire leaps out of it. Yeah! <laughs> First try! <laughs> also leaping out of the crate. Yeah! Is this vampire? Yay! More vampire. Two for one. Them. Two for one. Three. Three for one. Well, three and for this two. vampire. This four. is the best jack in the box three. I've ever found. Four for three. And you hear this vampire. <laughs> Five for four. What are you saying? Well, there's five vampires vampire. and four crates. No, there were well, five, five crates. crates. That we've, I see four. Um. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to roll six fucking initiatives. Six. Real quick. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? he's handcuffed to the table, though. Yeah. I'm okay. What? what also... <laughs> He's a carpenter? Or a vampire? <laughs> In disguise? Mm. I'm just guessing there's one we can't see. I'm guessing. I, yeah. He's surrounded by red. Like, I think I remember so a crate in that All of the corner. NPCs we've found. They're all hostile. The one you saved know? from the prison? Yeah. Vampire. <laughs> he pops. He, he was pops actually in there box. for the town's protection. He's actually like a total <laughs> madman. Oh yeah, that guy's a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> you let the serial killer out of the box. Nah. You oh, God. dangerous to execute because they thought you'd come back as a revenant. <laughs> but yeah, no. Two vampires popped out of one box, and then there's three other boxes. They're contortionists. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that you can't fit two people in a box. I'm saying that they there are hundreds so of four. I'm saying that there should have been two more vampires in the boxes that we opened. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. More vampires, Sam. We gotta keep the continuity going. No. <laughs> so why the fuck weren't they just in the fucking coffins? Well, obviously, that's the first place you would look for vampires. <laughs> Who was looking for vampires? We were. Kind of. That's only because we knew they were there. Right. Once he said vampires, my first instinct be became destroy the vampires. I think I need to stick some vampires. And also, in the everything else around us. Well, yeah. So, uh, what's your dex? Who? What is your dex? Uh, four. Good. Or eighteen. Plus four. No, four <laughs> minus three. The world's worst archer. No, I think the world's worst archer would be dead. Like the one dexterity. Flimmo, what's your dex? I have a seventeen. Plus three. What? I'm a halfling. I'm as dexterous as me. I'm almost as dexterous as you. I was considering All of us putting have really high dex. I was considering putting plus one in dex and wisdom to even them both out. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna get plus what do you two charisma even first. Dex for ranged attack with my crossbow and not getting hit. Do you don't have and any range. Attack. Okay. Don't worry about it. Well, dear God. Spells use charisma. Okay. So, <clears throat> dear God. Thank you. You guys are gonna die. No. No. Wait, what are you doing down there? Too slow. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to have a hard time getting up there. I might have to deal with this guy. If he attacks me. I feel confident that he will. I'm going to guess we have like five rounds left on Bless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sam. So it would, yes. How long does, or how long do we have left on Bless? Lasts a minute. When did you cast it? I cast it as soon as we decided we were going to go upstairs, and like after the whole torch shebang. The away. first time. The first time we went up the stairs was when he cast Bless. You've got like two rounds of Bless left. Okay, good to know. I just wanted to keep track of it because it's concentration. Okay. So it was Saris's turn when last we left off. Yeah. Now it's Flynnmo's turn. Flynnmo, you heard boxes explode and screeches come from upstairs. Does this guy look hostile? 
No, he looks terrified. Okay, good. Uh, just let me burn it down. I'm gonna go up the stairs. At a speed okay. of 25 feet. So you go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... It gets you here. Uh, I... Dash, dash, dash. Yeah, yeah. no, I know. I'm just thinking where I want to be. <clears throat> Probably not in front of Brock. So, I'll get on those wooden bar wooden planks. Next to Rolf. Yeah. No, you okay. had me on the right one. On okay. the left. Okay. Oh, and a bonus action, uh, uh, that spiritual weapon on the closest vampire. Neat. So, 12 plus uh, 18 yeah. to hit. Which one are you putting it on? The close vampire. So, that one that you can see. Good thing I got yeah. rid of that silver sword. Yeah, right. Okay. Like there? Yeah, that's good. There, let me grab a different one. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, you got one of those. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, in between all three of them, if that's possible. So, to the right. Yeah. Up. yeah. Okay. Uh, 18 hit. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. They take or he takes ten up. force damage. Which one? The the oh, one that is closest like, to just us. Crashed on your crossbows. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Don't worry about Mostly it. Mostly it's gonna be banging. I, I'm staring currently. Okay. Uh, a vampire comes sprinting out from behind the corner, leaps onto the uh, wooden planks, and attacks Saris. Oh. There's no mistakes. Yeah. That's kind of what uh, I assumed. James. I, sorry. Does shield stack with, stack with mage armor? Yes. Can you do that? Okay, yes. cool. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Mage armor make your Mage armor, armor sets your AC and shield adds Boost. AC. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't so sure. serious. 23 versus AC. Yeah, that hits. Don't even shoot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shield wouldn't with that. That's going to be six slashing damage. Oh boy. And it's gonna slash at you again. Ooh, multi attack. And that's gonna be a 19 versus AC. Hit. And instead of doing damage, it's going to grapple you. Oh. You could sh you could have shielded on that one. Oh. Because it would have raised your AC to. 20. And I forget, does she get a chance to break the grapple as soon as it starts, or does she have to wait till her turn? She'd have to wait for her turn. That's what I thought. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so, that's that vampire's turn. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Flimmo, this one starts next to the spiritual weapon. Does anything happen? Nope. Okay, it's does just it have to... the position that it is lets me know who it can attack. Okay, so this one's going to run forward and attack Tagen. To go in a vampire, uh, necromancer, blood mage, drought wizard. I can't. And taking it leaps towards you. Get all twilight miss. And that's going to be an eleven versus AC. Oh. That'll miss. And it kind of as it rushes past you, it tries again, and that's going to be a twenty-five versus AC. Misses. You're also grappled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not missing a beat, Sam the DM. He has super Wrecker shield. of players. So this one's going to run forward and... Uh, can I see the PhD? This one's going to, like, uh, run forward and slash at Saris. And that's going to be two attacks, one 19 versus AC, and one a natural 20. Uh... So let's roll the 20 first. That's gonna be natural twenty. It's not gonna protect you from that. Can't stop me now. Can I put my AC above the? So that's um, gonna no, be. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm well aware. Okay. So okay. Grappled. It's gonna be twenty damage. 
Uh, Wait, how much? She twenty. Crit. Yeah, that's very high. Hi guys. Sup? So, that was convenient. Ish. Cool. I can save you, maybe. Okay. Next vampire. I guess I'm gonna I... run up and run past uh, those guys. Saris, you're down, right? Nope. I'm at one. Oh, then this one's gonna run up and stay here and kind of ignore you. <laughs> and next is this vampire. Did they all go either after us or before me? Mm-hmm. God damn it. Very well, Roth. Roth, it's your turn. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking... Hmm. We're going to... Um, can I move, uh, run and leap onto the boards between Saris and the wall? Uh, yeah. Maybe okay. To, to like right yeah, here. move there. Uh, let's rage and, uh, there's only one grappling Saris right now, correct? Yes. I would like to rage and cleave into the one grappling Saris with my axe. Okay. I want to see grapple as well. Basically, you you just can't move. Yeah, yeah. you it's have a move only... speed of zero. Any other effects that might end the grapple are determined by okay. the attack itself. Um. So yeah, let's. Oh, in the wrong path. Great axe. Just thinking if there's anything. Nope. Oh, probably hit. Uh, does a twenty-one hit? That hits. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, damage. Oh, dang it. I didn't pull out my d12. Here, use mine. Uh, this one. Okay. Um, d12 plus 6 for a 16 slashing damage. Okay. And... Uh, hmm? Your axe goes into its side, and it does some damage, but the vampire doesn't seem to care that much. Uh, I'm then going to spend a um, monk point to get two unarmed attacks. Okay. Uh, so let's do the first one. I like a boot to or a foot to the ribs. I'm not wearing boots. Okay. Does an 18 hit? Yep. Then that is seven bludgeoning damage and one more. I like a headbutt. Oh. You're blessed, by the way. Oh, right, I'm blessed. It hasn't mattered, but... I mean, it might now. I'm guessing a 12 does not hit. No. Okay, then that's it. Was it... Oh, no, not an actual one. Nah. It was a 7. Um, and that is my turn. Okay. This vampire... Who's gonna run up? And uh, also grapple take. Also try to grapple Tagen. Can you be grappled by more than one person? Hmm? Oh. Like, yeah, I think well, so. Because the condition is removed if they're removed from your, like if they're moved away from you. So basically, it'd be two things that you'd have. Yeah, to do. I think so because the grapple isn't stopping you from acting. So this fourteen versus AC grabbing you. I can grappled. hear you. 14 versus AC. That's a miss. Able to get away from that one. And Tegan, it's your turn. You're being grappled by a vampire and you're also surrounded by others. Yes. Um, so, I have these these silver um, bolts, luckily. Um, I also did pick up at the church a flask of holy water. That you did. Um would there be any effect if I, or, you, or I, I'm going to just try and see. I'm going to pour the holy water over the barrel of the the crossbow bolts. So that okay. they're, they're covered in the holy, holy water as I shoot them. Okay. And whether or not that has an effect, we'll see. 
And then I'm going to unload on the one in front of me. The one that's grappled. Well, that has you grappled? Yeah. You don't suffer disadvantage from shooting at close range, right? Correct. Good job. Um, so, let's see. What can I do? Maximum deck. I can focus my ire. That's a bonus action. And then I, or I can Hunter's Mark, which is a bonus action, or I can just shoot twice, which is also a bonus action. Um, I don't have Hunter's Mark, so you have it going. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, I'll I'll put Hunter's Mark on the one that's grappling me, and then okay. I will shoot him. With a okay. silver so holy four. Oh yeah, for the yeah thing. No blast. For now. Um, that's a seventeen to hit. Uh, that hits. All right. Good job. Hey. Uh, so that's one, and then one extra for the hunter's mark. Is there anything extra from the other? No. Um, maybe so that's pistol whip him. 13 damage. Okay. Your arrows sink into its chest. And it does seem hurt by them. Okay. Yay! Hmm. Maybe I wasted the holy water. But... Oh well, it was worth, it was worth trying. Ceres. You know what? I'm gonna do... You're being grappled by a vampire. Would you like to try to escape? Also, yeah. Tegan, would you like to try to escape? Oh, yes. I, I, Sorry, you didn't define what the parameters yeah, of no. escaping were. Yeah, you can give me a... Uh, give me a... Uh, it depends on the attack. Yeah, you can give me a dexterity save or a strength save. It doesn't say. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, then I think it might be an opposed um, it, it's, athletic... It's got, it's got a DC. Okay, then it's athletics versus... Um, strength save or acrobatics versus dexterity. Okay. So or or sorry. No, he's going to use athletics no matter what, and you can choose athletics or acrobatics as the defender. Okay. Roll whichever one you want. For That's escaping. what I'm looking. Yeah. Let's see here. It says. Grappling. Escaping a grapple. A grappled creature can use its action to escape. To do so, it must succeed on a strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check contested by a strength athletics check. Okay. So the vampire spawn always make a strength athletics check. The grappled person can do acrobatics or athletics against that check, but that is your action on your And turn. in this case, it's a flat DC, not a roll, because he said there is... Okay, that is your action on your turn? Yeah. Yes. So I forego... I... Don't. Yeah. Saris, do you want to try to get away or are you just going to fight? I'm going to try to get away. Okay. Keep in mind if you move away from them, they will take attacks of opportunity. I don't know. If... It's just something to keep Does in mind. It... Um, sorry. Yeah. It was like 194. Actually, hold on then. Should try that on them. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you have anything that pushes or shoves them, that would end the grapple as well. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to figure out if this um if this cantrip would actually work or not. What's the cantrip? This one, the sanguine sanctum. Hmm. You transform your blood into something that reduces percentage. Dome can be damaged. Any creature within this dome cannot be targeted by creatures outside of the dome. No, they'd be yeah, they'd, they'd be, be in the dome. Yeah, you're not trapped in. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to false life instead okay. of trying to escape. Okay. Um. What is that? I'm going to give myself temporary hit points. Okay. 
Cast yeah. a second level spell to get an extra d4, I think? No, I can cast it at second level to gain an additional five, which is actually what I'm doing. Oh, neat. That's better. Yeah. Mm. So, eh, meh. I get ten more temporary hit points. Okay. The um, extra level uh, mm. benefit is better than I thought. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. And then bonus action, I'm going to make the whip. Okay. Guys, Saris pulled blood out of her arm and turned it into a whip. I'm a little distracted right now. There's a yeah, lot of blood happening blood. right now, so there's a lot of blood flying through the air. <laughs> oh, I've already seen this. Uh, Flynnmo, it's your turn. All right. So how high is the ceiling? <laughs> God damn it, James. <laughs> relevant. It's relevant. Uh, I don't know, James. Maybe about ten feet. Uh, not high enough. They can still, if, if I put them up against the ceiling, they'd still be able to reach. So I won't do that. We can duck. Uh, crawl on the ground. No, you don't want to do that. If, oh, no. Well, would you be able to force them out of the grappling her? No, they'd be, they'd still be adjacent to her, just oh, in the sky. Okay. Yeah, but can't you, like, move them back after you levitate them? No. no. You can only I can them only go control up and, up and down. They can control left and right and forward right. and back by pushing against walls. Uh, instead... Why don't you actually make an attack? I, well, I was going to try and end some grapples here, but the ceiling's too low. So instead, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt, and I'm going to use a... Uh, what's it called? The sorcery point? Sorcery point. To twin it, and I'm going to target the two that are grappling people. Okay. Uh... So against the one on the left. So the one that has Saris? Yeah. The one that has Saris. I have a 17. Okay. Guidance? I don't have bless. Or, or bless. No. Uh, and he takes, uh, let's see, 10, 16 radiant damage. Okay. And then the one that's grappling Tegan, I uh, get even higher, 24, to hit. Okay. For, ooh, 18 points of radiant damage. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to move my spiritual weapon to the one grappling Tegan. No, to her. Oh, okay. Grappling Saris. Okay. I can make it. Yeah, I can make it there. Uh, and then I will attack. I still haven't it. been hit. Yeah, and damage. then I will attack it with the spiritual weapon, which has uh, advantage because of the gui because of the guiding bolt. Oh uh, yeah. Oh neat. Nice. I actually did that in the wrong order. I'd rather you guys have advantage. Oh well. Uh, thirteen, nineteen. Total. Okay, that hits. Four. Well, four, five. Uh, force damage. Uh, that does damage. <laughs> okay. I hope you're doing all right in there. You're fine. So, uh, a after you ask that, as soon as Sarah says, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. uh, vampire rears back, opens up its big old vampire jaw, and Jaws. that's going to be a 23 versus AC. Yeah, that hits. Bites straight down into Saris's shoulder. Uh, oh, mm. well, now we got to take her out back and put her down. <laughs> Uh-oh. We'll be fine. Yeah. It's probably just getting temporary at this point. So that's going to be <laughs> seven piercing damage. Okay. It's not that bad. And no. seven necrotic damage. I'm down. Also, your maximum hit points are reduced by seven. Oh, oh that's cool. That's cool. Ooh. Wow. Oh, oh. And the vampire seems to be gaining strength from this. Get me back up and I can put Crown of Madness on him. <laughs> Whose turn is it now? You mean bleh. Uh, now it's the one that has taken Grapple's turn. And it's going to do the same thing. 
I do as much as I can. It's going to be a 13 versus AC. Miss. All right, so after it, after it kind of failed to do that, it kind of reaches down with its claw and tries to, like, sucker punch you. Yeah. You did run out and try. And that's going to be a 9 versus AC. Man. Okay. Right. And okay, the so now it's... Sarah's is about to die. <gasps> no, no, like... no. I got This you. one's turn. I got you. Which is going to swipe at Roth. Mm-hmm. Come at me. And that's going to be a 15 versus AC. Miss. It's going to swipe at you again. And that's a 21 versus AC. Okay, yeah, that hits. And you're grappled. Okay. Everybody grabs my hand. Okay. Okay. And now... This one behind uh, Roth is going to slash into him with both its claws. Go for it. You do you, boo. And one, only one of those hits with a 25. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be five slashing damage. Two slashing damage. Got it. As everyone wishes they'd taken levels in Barbarian. I know I do. <laughs> I did. One point. I thought about it. <laughs> really? Ways to increase damage. Mm. As this one is going to leap past everything going on. Uh, Tegan, I guess you get an opportunity attack. Cool. Hmm? You need a melee weapon for that, don't you? I have a stake. Oh. Can I whip out a stake? You can try to whip out a stake, yeah. Cool. So you're whipping out your wood. Let's yeah. see this. Blessed. Um, that's, uh, tw tw or 17. 17? That hits. Roll me damage. What it would the damage be? Probably dagger. Oh, yeah. Roll me dagger damage. Okay. Um, that is six. Six. Did you roll a four? I rolled a d4 plus my dexterity. Right. What did you roll on the d4? A two. Okay. Maybe so you did six stuff. damage. Cool. It doesn't really seem to care. <laughs> okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. It seems like it's headed for a mouth. Fuck, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's your <laughs> turn. <laughs> Whose turn? Yours. Nice. Um. I might levitate that guy. Then he won't be able to, like, walk towards me. I'm thinking... You could do something productive. I could bonus action for my... Um, uh, weapon. seeing Saris go down, uh, riles a deep and primal emotion within Roth. Is it sadness? Yes. Um, <laughs> got it. Um, Is it wolf time? It's wolf time. Yay. Voluntary wolf time. It's morphing time! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. Don't know do, actually. So yeah, you hear both. Oh, oh, nice. That was really quick and awesome, Sam. Yeah. Thank you. Zoom in. Zoom in. Uh, Philip, while you're transformed, you have plus two strength and plus two constitution. Sweet. And plus two dexterity. Bitchin, how we do? Uh, okay. For a, I gain eight hit points. Well, I wish I was a werewolf now. Not really. There's got to be a downside to it. Yeah, right? Don't worry about it. Um, okay, uh, we're going to... I mean, yeah, we're going to attack the uh, attack the one that took down Saris with the Great Axe. Okay. You're blessed. Hashtag. Um, 25 to hit. That hits. For, let me see here, 8... 15 slashing damage. Okay. I will spend a second monk point and tear into it with my, cl uh, tear into it with a claw. Okay. That's probably not hitting. Um, that's a, that's only an 11, so that's missing. Um, and then I will attack it with a claw again. 
Okay. Oof. I'm just not doing... Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, 12 plus 7... 19 to hit? 19 to hit. Oh, whoops. I actually... Oh, I... Yeah. Um, 8 slashing damage. Okay. So, Saris, as you go down, you hear this guttural roar escape from... Uh, from Roth's lips as this, like, as he tears out of his skin and the wolf comes out as he brings his axe around and crashes it into this vampire and then just starts tearing into it with his claws. And we have a full-on fucking, like, horrific monster brawl, the likes of which none of you have ever seen going on. Oh, I'm touched. Uh, fires, I'm dying. Green, <laughs> green flames burning Look in his that. eyes, the sounds of bones cracking. Yeah. His and the vampire's. <laughs> I yeah. saw the finale of Van Helsing. Yeah, it's kind of like that, and it's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he was going for. Van Helsing was what he was going for by putting the holy water on his crossbow. I know. It's only, like, my second favorite movie of all time. Only second? Wow. I don't know, I haven't seen it. Anyway, I think that's my... It's not the best movie ever made, but it holds a very special place in my heart. Yeah. yeah. Taken, two, not... two claw attacks coming at you. Uh, let's say 19 and a 4. The, the four misses. Yep, the 19 hits, and that's going to be... Uh, eight slashing damage. Okay. And it's your turn. Um, yeah, I think I do want to do this. I'm going to cast Protection from Good and Evil Ooh, on myself. Yeah. What does that do? It imposes um, uh, creatures of the types listed, which include undead, um, okay. have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Also, I can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Okay, so the undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Yes. Baller. Is that um, an action? That does take my action. Um, I will take a bonus action to um, mark the one grappling me as my slayer's prey. Cool. That's the one directly above you. Yep. Um, cool. And that will be my turn. I think that will cool. definitely be worth it. Yeah. Ceres, make a death save. No. That will be fine. Eh, four. That's um, one closer to death. Well, add a d4, but it doesn't matter. Flinmo, there are does it. a shitload of vampires. One of you is down, another is closing in on you. Oh, one of them went down? No, Ceres is down. Oh, okay, one I knew that. You is down. Mage is down. Uh, You've watched them feast on one of your companions. Roth has turned into a titanic werewolf. You're going to die. Not if I have anything to say about it, but I have limited action economy. <laughs> <laughs> Boo-hoo. Uh, fuck. Um, Healing word. You. What do you do? The... And I'm chanting some sort of creepy-sounding prayer. But then I only <laughs> get a shocking grasp. Or I could... Ah, fuck. I can't... I can't get you back awake and also do significant damage. Sure is bloodborne up in here. <laughs> you know, it tells you to say that because you're all going to die. Nah. We'll just I didn't on. want you guys to do this. We'll just respawn at the next bonfire. No. <laughs> uh, uh, the next, the next, or last. What do you respawn at in Bloodborne? Lantern. Well, I guess blood lanterns. Yeah. Well, th no, they're just lanterns. No, you go back to the hunter's dream. But you go back to the hunter's dream, and then, well, no, I think, no, you don't have to teleport from the hunter's dream back. No, to you the don't. Not every time. Yeah, you go back to the lantern. But I think it's implied that you go back to the dream and then wake yeah. up. Yeah. I just I just called it a blood lantern because almost like God, I need to get back to Bloodborne. Dark Souls was Blood X. <laughs> I'm going to try and take out some of these vampires, and I will get to you soon. I'm sorry, but right <laughs> right now, if I wake you up, you could just die again and actually die. It's better to leave you bleeding for a round than get you two hit points and next. God damn it, guys! I like this party too. Okay, so I'm going to twin Guiding Bolt again, uh, targeting the one that's grappling Tegan, which I have advantage on. Uh, 
actually am slightly concerned by the fact that none of them have even gone down. Uh, so that's a 20 to hit? Mm-hmm. Okay. For uh, 18 damage, Radiant. Okay. And then against the one that was formerly grappling Ceres, uh, Guiding Bolt. 15? That hits. Whew. Oh, that's shitty. 11 radiant damage. Okay. And then my spiritual weapon will attack that one. That Which one? The one that was grappling Saris. Okay. Uh, with advantage. Which is good, because I would have missed otherwise. 8 plus 6 is 14. That still misses. So it doesn't hit. Is the bless still up? I, I did not bless myself. Oh, I wasn't sure if it would work on the bless. And the bless is down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bless ends now. Um, bless ends now. That was all of my actions. I could run away. But I don't want to. But I'm getting to the point where I might run. I'm staying where I'm at for now. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, the one that was biting into Ceres turns its attention to Roth. Come at me. And is going to come at you with its claws. Get wrecked. And it's only going to hit you once. And it's yeah. going to uh, get a 8 damage slashing. Four slashing damage. Got it. Cool. Uh, and the one grappling Tagen is going to try to bite him. Okay. Disadvantage. That's going to be a 16 versus AC. Oof. That's a hit. So that's going to be... Uh, seven piercing damage. Okay. And four necrotic damage. You go down four maximum hit points. Which means the vampire gains hit points. Next up is... Uh, fuck, which one? This one, which is going to try to grapple Roth. And that's going to be a uh, 11 versus AC. Nope. It's going to try again, and that's one also misses. <laughs> uh, the one behind Roth is going to try to grapple him. With a 16 versus AC? Nope. And again, with a 16 versus AC? Nope. Do you like that number? And this I'm one is going to that number. I'm not. leap across the wood at Flinmo and try to grab him. Nope. And that's a 16 versus AC? You got me. And it bites you. With a 9 versus AC, so it actually misses. It's used to biting taller targets. <laughs> I was about to say, muscle memory kicks in, bites a foot I... above head. Wait a minute. Roth, you're up. Okay, real quick. I see windows in this room. I yep. assume they are covered up somehow. Yep. How are they covered up? They are boarded over. Of course they are. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I was really hoping you guys were just going to burn the building down. I wanted to! I mean, that's still an option. Um... Grab 
grab Saris and beat a retreat. That's what I'm actually considering. Uh, let me look at uh, something real. Uh, can I grab Saris from where yes. I? Yes. Okay. If I grab her, I need to look at something with Barbarian real quick. Yeah, nothing is grabbing Roth, so you're oh, free to get yeah. the fuck out of here right now. Except that me and Flynn Mower grab, but if I can only. Yeah, get... but he could get Saris out. When you make. Which, given Roth's character motivations, I wouldn't be terribly surprised by. Right, but I was thinking that on next turn we could all just disengage and try to get out of here. Right. Yeah. Like but five, you and Flynn Mower are pretty much going to get gang banged. Mm, okay. Maybe. Okay. So I want to grab Saris and uh and leap from these boards towards uh I guess like kind of a diagonal that's southeast. Okay. Yes. You're going to take three opportunity attacks. Um I'm okay with all of that. Okay. First one. <laughs> 15 versus AC. Miss. The first one reaches up. Misses. Second one reaches up. 17 versus AC. Misses! Third one. 21 versus AC. Okay, you got me. <laughs> Just scrap, slashes your leg. That's going to be... Uh, fucking shit. Math. Eight damage. Four damage. Got it. Yeah, so you make it down here. Cool. I see... Is that a... Uh... Oh, I, I, I was actually going to try and make an uh, athletics check to, like, jump. Oh, uh, okay, I get to there. Cool. Roth is the one I can't control today. Yep. No oh, one. it's because it's the wolf token. <laughs> no one puts Roth in the corner. Uh, yeah, it's the, I forgot to set the token. Uh, I'm going to jump out the window. Can I burst, can I try and jump and burst through those boards? Yes, you can. Yeah. Or, no, I need. Since you have done nothing else on this turn. Oh, I need another. And because you're a fucking werewolf. Oh, that didn't work out well. Um, that's a... But I have... That's... Um, numbers... 16. 16. Your giant form busts through the window, cradling uh, Saris as you hit and land on your back. You take... Yeah, fall damage. That's bludgeoning, right? Yes, you take well, only three points of You're bludgeoning also damage. 45 hit points. You know what? <laughs> Last time I jumped out of a building saving y'all's ass. <laughs> oh yeah, now it's my turn to save you by yeah. jumping out of the building. These two schmucks already got their turn. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. She has a good fairy in her Okay, uh, that's Roth and Saris out of the fight. I don't. I give them to you every day. Yeah, and I see you all eat them. You have a good fairy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, we technically you did say you gave me one, but I think... By the way, I hope... I'm sorry I wasn't giving you guys enough good images at the start of the fight. I hope I'm making up for that now. No, uh, I'm I'm in. I'm, I yeah. have this all in my head. It's beautiful. Good. I'm bursting good. out. There's yeah. explosions. I don't know why there are explosions. Yeah, I was going to say, where did the explosions come from? <laughs> I don't know if you forgot. If I had explosions, then I would have blown open a window already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that smart. That's why I, okay. I put the idea out there for you. But I have... I mean, no. I considered it, but I didn't have a way to actually okay. do anything. Okay. Um, and also, I think technically my rage ends because I did. Uh, no, you got attacked that turn. I did not attack that turn. You and... got... No, you got attacked that turn. Oh, okay. You took damage, therefore your rage is still going. Cool. Uh, this one next to Tegan is gonna slash at him. This is... Disadvantage. Okay, that first one misses, and the second one. Doesn't crit, but it does get a twenty-four. Mm. Wait, you mean the? I'm confused. It gets two attacks. Oh, the second oh. one would have crit if it didn't have disadvantage. Got you. But still, a twenty-four. And that's going to be eight damage. Okay. And it's your turn. See, the problem is that even if I make my escape, like, I don't get a, I can't do a disengage. But they yeah, but you've got protection. At you. Yeah, that hasn't helped so far. Mm. I've gotten attacked three times since I did that, yeah. so what was even the point? Bad luck. But it seems like they can only do damage. They can't re-grapple you while you're running away. Yeah. And there's an open window. Yeah. 
Um, like, I'm debating whether I should try to kill this one, if that'd be easier than doing the escape attempt. I almost don't feel like so. We've, like, we've we been... poured a lot of damage. We poured it. a lot of focus into the one just attacking, that just attacked Steris, and it's still not down. Yeah. I don't know if Sam wants to tell us I've how done, bad it's looking. I've done about the same amount of damage. To uh, the one that, the one that's grappling Tegan? No, the one that was, the was grappling Sarah's that James poured all that radiant damage into. I, uh, I poured, I poured it my looks, radiant into yours, too. It's it's hurting. It's actually not hurting as much as the one grappling you. Oh, okay. But The one that, scrap, that yeah. grappled her got mm. they're, they're both hurting, definitely. Okay. Drink blood. But you guys have not touched the other four. Yeah, and that's yeah no, I'm just trying to decide whether it's better to try to take this one out and then run away, or if it's if I'd be better trying to make the escape attempt. Um, you have advantage on uh, attacks against him. Oh. Or on, on your first attack. first attack. From Guiding Bolt. So that's like a guarantee, or guaranteed, um, like... Treat it like a plus three. 3d6 plus 4... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna to try to attack him. Okay. Um. So attack the first advantage. One is grappling you. Yeah. Right, point blank. A sixteen. That hits. For one plus the mark plus the prey. Uh. That's. 11 damage. Okay. With the silver. Still arrow. holding you. Um, that's a 1, so I can reroll yep. it. Mm -hmm. And that's a 26 to hit. That hits. For uh, 14 damage. Fuck, it is just barely holding on to you. Oh. God damn it. Um... Like, it, it falls, but it's still, like, holding you. It's, like, on a knee, just grabbing you. Yeah. 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 God fucking damn it. Well, it should be my turn next, right? I guess. I mean, yes, it is. I hear, so it doesn't fucking matter. Well, I'm gonna at least try and kill the one that's grappling you. Okay. And they have disadvantage on trying to grab you again. So, uh, I'm gonna start with a bonus action to say... Sorry, Sam? Yes. I burst through a window in daylight. Did that do anything to them? Letting daylight into the room? Uh, none of them are standing in the direct line of the sun yet. Got it. Oh. oh. I'm in actually. I'm actually meant to go straight south. Like what? Whatever windows, whatever. But. Oh, you wanted to go out the south yeah, window? That was just, yeah, because that was just straight. That was just a straight jump. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do because I love you all so much. You went out the south window. Yeah. I. I this thought... one burns in the sun. After Chris does his damage to it. Okay. Can I take a move action? Yes. To, to jump Up after Wrath? Yes. You're going to take two attacks of opportunity oh, here. All right. I'm grappled. That's not going to work. Yeah. But they're at disadvantage. Yeah. That one misses. That one hits. Uh oh. Mm, you should only have to provoke. Oh, no. Yeah. 11 damage. I'm down. Damn it. We got close. Well, we're not done yet. Yeah, we're not done yet. Levitate him out the window. <laughs> Can't do that. My turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, Healing you Word. Uh, mm -hmm. You made it two spaces down, I think. Did I? I mean, you moved because you... Oh, no. no it was, the second it was one. those two. That, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, um, never mind. You get back six hit points. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take my action to try and escape the grapple with acrobatics. Uh, eight. Eight? That does not, that does not get out. Uh, that's all I got. Okay. The one grappling Tegan is dead. It actually incinerates in the sunlight. 
the next one is this one, and it's actually going to take... It, it starts to burn in the sun. And runs away. Yeah. To the dark corner. <laughs> well, that's the one that knocked you down, probably. I get knocked down. Uh, the down. next oh, one... <laughs> is going to hide where it's at because it doesn't want to get burnt by the sun. One after that is going to take damage, drop Flinmo, and run away. Oh, yeah. We're going to make it. Yeah, you're all welcome. <laughs> Man, Sarah's getting going down was the best thing that happened to us. It triggered my... Uh, it, it Hey, it triggered my paternal instincts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Taking it's your turn. Team up with a punch cat or an Asmar that gave no shit. Death <laughs> right. save. So... No, I brought him to life. I gave yeah, him hit he points. gave me hit points. Oh, okay, then go. Um, I'm gonna run out. <gasps> Down the stairs or out the window? Out the window. Out the window. <laughs> uh, you do like that sweet like flip out the window that Leon does in Resident Evil Four? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. And Flynnmo. I'm gonna walk down the now stairs. we can burn it. This. <laughs> you, you just yell that as you fall to your death. As you fall to your unconscious. Okay, do you, do you get Heinrich out of the house with you, or do you leave him there? I'm getting him out of the house. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, he's handcuffed to the table. Yeah. I was gonna leave him. Neat. Yeah, he's no. probably a little bit more no. innocent than you guys are giving him credit for. Neat. He would tank things with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Another one of those. You have an unconscious <laughs> holy bones for an army of outside the window. You probably mm -hmm. didn't have much of a okay. choice. It's my turn? Yes. Uh, I, yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, I will attempt to set fire to the house. Okay. I have Are you just going to, like, throw a I fireball can... at it? Uh, yeah, more like take the flame in my hand because I can hold it and then throw it. So I'm holding mm -hmm. it and, like, applying it. Okay. Um, which is also uh, great because I have the cantrip control fire, which lets me move it up. Well, the outside of the house is stone, but the inside is full yeah, of wood. Yeah, I was going to say, throw, oh, throw okay. a torch into the woodworking shop. That. Yeah. Wait, take, okay. it, take fall damage and not... Uh, you, yeah, so you throw a torch into the shop, and it's just, the sawdust kicks off, and it starts going up. Yep. And I'm just, like, like, um, speaking words and, um, speaking in giants, if anyone happens to know that language. And the flames just rise. They're, uh... And consume it. A little bit stronger than the ones I'm used to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Slam the front door shut. Does, does just... someone want to do oh, something? Oh yeah, pop, pop a good berry into mm -hmm. Saris's house. Thank oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought they did that during the combat rounds that we were... No. I he jumped, jumped out, the, out. the window, and then it was y'all's turn. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was another turn. No. Okay. okay but uh, then I was told to burn it down. I'm not a healer. I was going to. I'm not a. I was going to healing word her before they jumped out of the window. Well, but, uh, you that didn't. didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sarah's so just gonna pop a potion of healing. Yeah. Get two two new damage. Spit. Yeah, right? Spit in the <laughs> Takes the crossbow and just points it at you. Oh, yeah. You want to say I that lost again? It. Whoops. I didn't actually right. say Now that. I have ended. My rage has ended. Uh, and now my rage has ended. Yep. Hey, Sam. Yeah? The hit to my maximum hit points, does oh, that come back no, or no? No, don't drink the potion. Why not? I have a spell that heals a lot more um, than a potion. Point. Potions are good because you can use them in combat. This takes ten minutes to cast. Um, 40, it doesn't actually say. 37. So I'm going to get back to you on that one, Avani. Okay. I assume it's a long rest. Right? Long rest. Yeah, it's a long rest. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I go down to 37. Hold on to this man. Well, actually, I can hold um, on to him. Go away. I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, what were you handing? The man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like, hold on to this man. I'm like, that doesn't seem like your vernacular. Come on, man. Hold on to this. No. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to start casting for ten minutes. 
Healing. Pair of healing. We're just going to stand around watching the house burn. I mean, I'm making really sure strong. it burns. It will actually He's not right a werewolf now. anymore, right? No, no. I, the, it, I shift. Uh, I, yeah, I shift. You never myself. said that, so. I. Sorry, yeah. It's oh, part yeah. of his rage. He said my rage has ended. I had assumed. Well, yeah, but I need to hear the words, I change back into a person. No, nah, because I don't have a knife, because I gave it to the little girl, and I need something to carve, in, uh, carve into the door. So yeah, still a werewolf as I car- carve a symbol in the door. You can just take Sarah's dagger. I was not offered a dagger, and nor did I know that you had one. Sarah's has an anathema. Mm. Well, anyways, this is happening. It's, Ten minutes. It's a double-edged dagger. Ah, that sounds dangerous. It, wow. it is, it's for ritual. Wow. Wow. Ones? Yes. I'm Neat. popping a potion of healing. Everybody get back six hit points. <laughs> Neat. I'm almost at full. Okay. Rob, I'm popping one been, of those potions. Have you been transformed back or? Yeah, after, yes. And okay. yeah, I transform back. Yeah. Green flames uh, burn burn away the lupine form. Rat okay. is uh, So there. as the house burns and a crowd gathers. Around a werewolf. We're gonna, anymore. we're gonna we're gonna slowly pull back in our shot and end there for tonight. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, no, it's not what I expected to happen tonight. What did you expect? Uh, we'll we'll go over that next time. <laughs> <laughs> next time on Us Crack and Quest. Not figure it out. But yeah, we'll, no, uh, we'll uh we'll do that next time on Crack and Quest. Uh, I've been your very tired and belligerent DM. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we have story time with me and Kathrine, uh, but she's gonna be ready for Gen Con, so so that might not be happening. Oh, I wish uh, I could go. Right? It, it might just be a hanging out stream. Uh, cool. Carrying the party back again. Yeah. Oh, she has to hold it off tomorrow, so she's probably going to work. Then just go to work. Uh, I could probably take a nap tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, we'll probably do story time tomorrow. What's going on Wednesday? Wednesday should be. Lunge and Lunge Bill. You gotta do some more... Uh... Oh, we're definitely doing more Horizon Zero Dawn. That game is so good. Yeah, I really liked when I played the beginning of it. I yeah. don't know if I would like the rest of it, but I, I did enjoy the beginning a lot. I got into the mountain, and that's where I had to end. Uh, yeah, see, I liked through that. Yeah, um, uh, and then, are we doing anything Thursday this week? Thursday will be JRPGs. Sweet. That's right. James and Redbeard playing some Super Mario. What is it? Super Mario and Luigi Superstar Dream Dream stuff. Okay, cool. Um, So yeah, thanks for joining us, whoever's watching. Uh, You can catch all of our videos on YouTube. Yep. And Twitch. And Crack and Quake. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone. I get to sleep. I'll ask one more time. Uh, hold on. Where's the... Y'all need to stop falling unconscious. We're not here. Like, really. Find Seriously. The... There it is. I'm getting oh. tired of saving y'all. Also, is this how we're going to exit every haunted house?